welcome to today's video. I am going to do a barrel racing look per request. Um, this is a disclaimer, I don't barrel race obviously, um, but I did when I was little, I was really into it and yeah, that just, I had like a little paint pony that would run me into the barrels, which was really fun. So anyways, um, I'm just kind of going to go off of some social media people I, I've seen. Um, first off is Fallon Taylor, I'm pretty sure everyone knows who this is. Even I, who I'm not a barrel racer, I know who she is. Um, and then there's a girl named Lake that is in Tucson where I am. I was friends with her when I was really little. And then now she's a barrel racer, so I kind of thought I'd pull some pictures from her as well. So yeah, and then I was going to look at a few other girls from Tucson, but I don't follow them on Instagram, so... If they happen to accept my request while we're sitting here, I will let you know and I will show you some pictures. But what I've kind of um, picked up on is a lot of them don't do a bold lip color. It's usually like a pink or nude or something. Um, they seem to wear like heavier eye makeup, full glam face, and then like a nude lip. Something along those lines. So I don't know. I'm just going to kind of come up with something. If you guys like it, let me know. If you have any tips for other barrel racers that want to try a new makeup look, let them know down in the comments. And let's just get into this. So I am going to go ahead and start with my brows. Um, they don't seem to do a particular brow shape. I think it really just depends on who you are, what your brows look like, what you prefer. So the first thing I'm going to do is use the Hourglass Brow Shaping Fiber Gel, I think it is. Brow Volumizing Fat Fiber Gel. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on and then let that sit and then we'll move on to eyes and come back to brows. I'm going to try to keep it a little bit more soft and natural. I mean, every day I try to do a little bit of a softer brow but keeping it defined. I did just upload my updated brow routine. I don't use this technique in there, but this is something I do on the everyday basis when I don't want crazy makeup. Now I'm going to take a little bit of my NARS Complete Concealer in the color Vanilla and I'm going to carve out the shape of my brows underneath so I know what to follow when I do my eyeshadow. I really like this technique. It seems to be easier for me when I go in and fill them in. I really should pluck my brows sometime soon, but... Today is clearly not the day. Then I'm just gonna quickly go in and underline that as well with the e.l.f. Precision Brow Pencil just to give me a little bit more of a guide. So as of lately, I really haven't been using eyeshadow primer. I just use my concealer, but today I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. This one has a tint to it, so it is, um, it helps to counteract any discoloration in the eyelids which I like, especially for the look I have in mind for this. I want it all to be canceled out. Now, eyeshadow primer potion is going to help your eyeshadow last longer, go on a little bit more vibrant and smoother as well. And like I said, this one specifically does help to cancel out any color on your eyelids, which is really nice. You could always just use this or concealer and be done. I'm just gonna set that with a little bit of powder. Any powder will do. This is like a translucent kind of flesh tone color, so just want to take away a little bit of any stickiness. Today I'm going to go ahead and use the Jaclyn Hill uh, Morphe palette. A lot of you guys have been requesting this for multiple things, but I figured I would use it as many times as I can. First I'm going to take a mixture of these two shades right here. When I use this palette, I almost always use these two specific colors. And I'm using a big fluffy brush and just going into the crease and really blowing it out, making it smoky, especially in the outer half. I really do like this eyeshadow palette as well. It's really creamy, easy to blend, it's pigmented, and it's fairly inexpensive for what it is. Next, I think I'm gonna jump into, I'm holding this palette upside down, that's why it's probably not lining up with whatever you guys have, but I think I'm gonna jump into this color here. And this is a Morphe M514. I'm just gonna put this on the outer half of my eye. Go in with this darker purpley brown color right below the other shades used. And I'm just putting this on the outer kind of corner of my eye. This is what we have so far. I'm gonna go in and clean all this up later. Um, and then I think I'm gonna take a little bit more of a dark color and go closer to the lash line. I'm gonna take a Zoeva 226, it's a smudger brush. I'm gonna take this kind of espresso brown here. And I'm gonna put this close to the lash line and just smudge it kind of like eyeliner almost. Then I'm gonna go in with the brush I used last and just lightly run over that, blend it out a little. As much as I wanna leave this all matte, I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this kind of shimmery chocolatey shade just on my finger. 
this right in the kind of middle of the outer portion. Then again, just go over it quickly with that brush. That adds just a little bit of glimmer, which I feel like adds to this look. I'm gonna go ahead and add some eyeliner next. This is definitely something that I noticed all of the pictures I looked at do have is eyeliner. Again, this is something that's gonna depend on your eye shape and whatnot, but it seems like typically they don't do a wing so much, it's just lining that top lash line. So I'm making it a little thicker just on this outer part. But again, I'm not winging it out. So it's thicker out here, but it's a little thinner in the front there. I'm going to take some black eyeliner and just line my waterline so that it, the lashes aren't as visible. This is the Marc Jacobs um, Blacker Highlighter. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of mascara. This is the Sephora Lash Craft or anything. Big volume. Just kidding. Big volume mascara. Now I'm sure not every brow eraser uses lashes because it's really not a sport based on your presentation, it's a speed event. Um, but if you like wearing lashes, go for it. If not, just use a little bit of mascara, it's totally up to you. And then I'm going to go ahead and put these lashes on off camera. These are the Lure and Lee So Lush Foam Ink Collection Lashes. I love these. Um, so I'm going to put those on, go ahead and do my face, and then I'll be right back. Next I'm going to go in with the Marc Jacobs Highliner in the color Odyssey. It's a nice kind of turquoise color, and put this on my lower lash line just to add a little color. And then I'm going to go into the Jaclyn Hill palette, and I think I'm going to take a little bit of this color. I've never played with this one. I'm actually going to take a little bit of the royal blue just above that and put this on the outer corner. I noticed on one of Fallon Taylor's pictures she did like blue on the uh, lower lash line so that's kind of why I thought to do this and I really like how that turned out. I'm going to add a little mascara to my lower lashes. But what I'm going to do for the inner corner, I'm going to take the Urban Decay Kristen Leanne palette. This is possibly still available. I'm going to take just a little bit of this color right here. It's a dual chrome kind of blue color. Put that on my finger and put that into the inner corner. Okay, I'm going to take a Sephora number 29. I am going to go ahead and show you some of the face. I am testing out the Lawless Woke Up Like This foundation. Um, so that's what's on my face right now. I have a video that I'm making in like while I do this one <laughs> um, So that should be up as well, but I'm gonna highlight with the LA Girls strobe light in the color Watt I'm gonna put this at the top of my cheekbones This is a very pale and reflective color I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the MAC soft frost highlighter. This is also duochrome, but it's kind of purple you guys can't really tell on camera I like using these highlighters over top of another highlighter as a base. And this will just give a slight reflective like purple that went too much. I think it's kind of fun to do stuff like this for rodeos or like parties and stuff. Um, you could totally use this for shows as well, but I think it's just more fun to play with it and do lots of color for Gymkhana type of it. Next I'm going to go ahead and contour with my Kat Von D um, powders. I just took them out of the palette, but this is the lightest shade first. Oh, just an FYI, this is an icing brush, which I love these brushes, they're just like tart, but icing apparently is going out of business, so they have really good sales on their brushes online right now, um, so I definitely go check them out if they're still available. I'm going to contour my nose just a little bit with the um, Morphe E21 brush and that same contour powder. I don't usually contour with powders, but it's what I have currently on hand. I'm gonna go back in with that MAC highlighter and use that as a brow bone highlight as well. And I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl highlighter and put that just on the tip of my nose. I'm gonna go ahead and bronze with the Milk Chocolate from Too Faced. I'm gonna use this in a hot minute. Now I'm gonna go ahead and blush. I want something kind of orangey. Okay, I'm gonna mix Songbird and Snapdragon from Becca. I think it was a holiday palette, possibly. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Dose of Colors Knock On Wood Liquid Lipstick. It's like a peachy, nudie. It's like a peach isn't the right word. It has like a little bit of an orange undertone. All right, everyone, this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. I really like how I decided to do that blue lower lash line. I think that just adds something fun to it. And don't be afraid to play with color, especially in like Gymkhana and brow racing and all that fun stuff. Like rodeo is fun. So this is, I know this is not the type of hat barrel racers where they use the, um, they usually have felt ones I feel like, but they're the ones that are more like flat brimmed and just scoop out at the edges. Um, but yeah, I don't own any of those because I don't brow race. So this is what I have. <laughs> um, if you guys like this video, if you want to see more different kind of um, discipline type of makeup, let me know. And I will try to do my best to create something similar to them. Again, I only show really. Um, I've, done, I've done some ranch riding, I've done some gym comic kana and stuff. Um, but those were my younger days. Don't forget to come back every Sunday at 4 p.m. Arizona time. I'm uploading every Sunday. Hopefully throughout the whole summer while I'm gone. So yeah, if you want to see those videos, be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell next to the subscribe button to make sure you're notified every time I post instead of not knowing and then coming on and finding out I posted three videos and you didn't even know that. Um, but anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.